When we think of vehicles, we think of three types of concepts on how to connect the vehicles to to their their uh, driver or the passenger. The first is digitized. More and more of our content uh, of where we're going to go, of the routes we take, of of who we contact, is all digitized. Secondly, it's about personalized personalization. When we get into the vehicle, we like to have the vehicle be able to seamlessly connect to our content and provide the same kind of experience that we might have on our audio system that we have at home. And then the third uh, aspect of it is is more of the immersive nature of it, especially when you think about noise cancellation. I think many of us are familiar with noise cancellation in, in headsets, but if we're in the vehicle, actually noise cancellation becomes a very interesting challenge to cancel the noise from the road, but to still allow the other noise uh, from the traffic and so on for safe driving to come in. So noise cancellation uh, helps to create a, uh, a certain type of, of immersive experience as well, even in the vehicle to improve the, the audio quality and to be able to hear uh, traffic um, through the road noise. The automotive industry is changing in so many ways, not only becoming electrified and personalized, but also in the way that business is conducted. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, the business was more of a tiered type of business model where companies such as ourselves worked with directly with tier ones and then the tier ones worked directly with OEMs such as Polestar and others. Um, these days, business moves much faster. The pace of innovation is faster than it ever has been. And uh, it means that we're all collaborating with each other and also with partners there's third parties, uh, developers in, in audio, for example. There's, um, we as consumers with the smartphone, we're used to third parties, uh, providing applications for us that we can download and personalize in the vehicle. Um, this type of thing is, is starting to come over time. So, uh, the keys to us are communication, agility, uh, and then uh, Anya said it very nicely, being focused on the consumer needs at the end application. What are the technology needs? What are the software frameworks and how does the technology fit in? Where do open frameworks fit in versus the uh, proprietary closed systems? And how do we address the needs of both? Um, yeah, it's never been more dynamic and it's never been more exciting uh, in, in the automotive industry for now, for sure. And it's involving a, a large number of partners. This focus on, on the user experience and the focus on the value is a very interesting one. You know, I've definitely seen studies that show that just audio quality, how audio sounds in the vehicle can be a determiner if, if a person uh, of, of ultimately purchasing the vehicle or not. Audio is one of those areas that uh, you might say it's, it's subjective, but there's a a very strong technology component to it that the that your home uh, environment has definitely has definitely figured out. Um, and these days, more and more of us, sometimes the most high end audio system may actually be in your vehicle. We've seen some vehicles coming out with you know twenty and more speakers all around all around the car. Um, and then in terms of how we interact with the car voice is becoming more and more important. And once a consumer gets used to a feature, a, a, a way of, of interacting, once you have your content with you uh, in your smartphone, we naturally want to have it with us in our vehicles as well. So this idea of seamless connectivity, sometimes the, the connection between the value that we create and the consumer preference, sometimes it's obvious, but sometimes it's not. And that's why we like to look at it more as an experience uh, in terms of what type of experience you're actually going to be having in the car. And for us, you know, the digitized uh, nature of, of, our, uh, of our preferences enables it to be transportable from the smartphone into the vehicle. And there's a, there's a, a very interesting uh, te technological component to that that, that, that we enjoy. And, and again, we see a lot of innovation, not only around the, uh, the audio systems, but you know, noise cancellation is is another really interesting feature that we see uh, becoming standard on on all vehicles going forward.